uh, apply different decision tree algorithms to the data set and based on their performances, means uh, performance for each may be defined from each other, means from other, other, right? So we try to pick the best one. Okay, that's why rain for us. Bahut tomar decision tree algorithm also. We do have many uh, decision tree algorithms. We are applying them. Okay, then we try to pick the best, at least the average one. Then uh, that is a rainforest algorithm. It will be more clear if I if we go through one practical related to rainforest algorithm. <clears throat> and three things are taken as a parameter attribute. I don't think that you need extra mention discussion with respect to these three parameters: attribute value and class levels. Now, for the classification part, this is okay, but the uh, um, thing is that you have to go through some practicals with respect to these uh, different algorithms, decision tree algorithm, rainforest, then KNN, logistic regression, linear regression, and logistic regressions. So, a practical you will get better idea about that. Then theoretical portion, it is okay. Whatever I have thought that is sufficient for you for that classification or supervised learning process. Now I come to the next part of your syllabus that is uh, cluster analysis. So it is basically a type of unsupervised learning method. I mean, they discuss course, what we have discussed in the case of classification. That is under supervised learning, right? I told you that supervised learning, you have information about that data set. information in the sense that you know uh, about the class levels. Okay. Now, based on those informations, you have been supervised to my guide or you have been supervised to classify some new data. Okay. For which you do not have any class level. Akobar question from level, supervised learning or kihoi. Data set dia thake. In that data set, you have those information that what are the class levels. Okay, class level is the main thing now. Would you agree, sir? Can you give the response? Yes, sir. Okay, so class level is archive. You are archive, right? Aru Azona said, Biki Wuli. Moi to Maluk Dutak. They differentiate course to me RC or to me Biki. You are Biki and you are RC. How? Because this is a kind of tag being tagged to you, right? Attached to you. That RC name is to that person, that student with this, this characteristic. Biki name is to that boy who is, has this characteristic. Okay. So this RC and Biki you can consider as class levels. And uh, the thing is that. In the case of supervised learning, this information is being given to you. Okay, already given to you. And based on this information, what would happen? input, suppose you have been given one more input like this one, but you don't know that this person is falling under which RC for big means with respect to characteristics. Okay, ER characteristics in me, we kill a good. ER characteristics in RC Okay. So you need to identify that new data on the basis of those training data that you have been provided earlier. Right. So throughout the process, you as you can see that you have been guided throughout the training process. Okay, training kura proper guide kora the A characteristics seeking a two particular level. Class level or these characteristics belongs to that that particular uh, 
class levels or class. So that's why this is known as supervised learning. So supervised learning, we have discussed a lot with different algorithms and few algorithms being kept for the practical purposes. Now today, what we are going to discuss is unsupervised learning. Cluster analysis is an unsupervised learning method. And unsupervised learning method is a method in which we draw references from data sets consisting of input data without labeled responses. Now, here in case of unsupervised learning, you're not, no, you not going to get just type of class levels. A cool class level, the attack. Okay, cool level information to mark the attack. You will not be given those information. Now, what you need to do based on those experience, um, experiments, okay, based on some homogeneous characteristics. Okay, what I said, homogeneous characteristics. You need to divide those data points into some number of groups. Okay, how? Because suppose 100 data points are there. Let's consider the list one, okay, first. So 100 data points are there. Now out of 100, 30 is showing that particular homogeneous characteristic, and the characteristic logic, that is which is same. So that 30 data points belong to say group one. Rest 20 belongs to, or 20 are showing a different characteristic, of course, that is homogeneous among them. And the rest 50 are showing a different. So you see, I have considered one homogeneous characteristic and on the basis of that, I divided those 100 data points into three different groups. I mean, in the group or the five group, right? At I2, at I2, at I2. Now, a group belongs to Korilu. They now, the data points belong to that. This each of this group will be showing the similar properties. And these groups are known as clusters. A group belongs what we'll call this group as clusters. How many groups go? Cluster. Okay. It is a process, an overall process. This process is known as cluster analysis, but clustering. Okay. Because guided system, supervised way, no level, no it. You homogeneous characteristics ke upar based kar, to the experience of the uh, sorry experiments of the kiya hai. So this is known as unsupervised learning. Now, is the picture clear to you? Is the picture clear to you? Okay, so let's go to the next slide. So let's see the textual definition. Clustering is the task of dividing the population or data points into a number of groups such that data points in the same groups are more similar to the other data points in the same group and dissimilar to the data points to the other groups. Okay, then it is basically a collection of objects on the basis of similarity and dissimilarity between them. And Cluster analysis is a unsupervised learning method where we draw references from data sets consisting of input data without level responses. Now, there are two properties that should be satisfied when we go for this cluster analysis. Clustering hum dab karne jayenge to ye do property ko fulfill karna hai hame theek hai we'll try to fulfill this two properties one is known as high intra cluster property and the other is low inter cluster property okay eta ki ek hai aapka intra cluster aur eta inter cluster 
INTRA and one is INT INTER. So obviously high intercluster property and low intercluster property. So what does it mean by the high intracluster property? High intercluster property maneki. So I'm going to tell you, I have said to you, that there were 100 data points. I have divided this 100 data points into three different clusters, right? So what happens there? Suppose this is the cluster number one, this is the cluster number two, this is the cluster number three. Right now, the points belong to this C1. Is the C1 to us? Say the points belong to the C1 will be showing high intra cluster property. Why? Because a cluster ke in the Joby data points will be ek dusre se pura similar rahega theek hai usme similarity zyada rahega kyunki humne homogeneous characteristic uh, consider kiya hai jaise aap color ko le lo theek hai jaise main hum log image processing mein kaam karte hain computer vision mein kaam karte hain to main maan leta hu aapke class mein kisi ne blue color ka t-shirt pehen ke rakha hai kisi ne red color ka t-shirt someone some some ones are wearing the red t-shirt and some ones are wearing the blue t-shirt so they are different now, if we go for dividing the classroom on the basis of this particular homogeneous property, that is color, jate blue bila kata group of the hise, red bila kata group of the hise, or ehonduta logotni mila bila anta group of the hise. Blues coming to one cluster, reds coming to one cluster, and others coming to a different cluster. So, in that case, we will follow these two properties. So, this is the suppose blue one. So, whatever the girls, boys are there, they should be wearing some t shirt which is more or like uh, the color blue. Okay. And suppose in this case, this is say red, and the others are wearing something different from these two colors. So, one cluster high intra, and the property same, the blue color. How can we go in a navy? Blue pen, I could kiss in a light blue pen, but heck yeah, oh, blue. Take it, yeah, high intercluster cluster on a say, also blue or red can be so different. Yeah, obviously, that is the that is should be what? Kahoga, but a different hoga. Okay, up the blue pen kerako or red pen kerako, up low ke bis kahoga, difference hoga. So in up ke or in ke bis interaction, com hoga. So, easily, we call this low intercluster property. Is, uh, are these two properties now clear to you? High intercluster and low intercluster? Yeah, what question do you have to ask? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So, I will do clustering. Clustering is a group divide. Kuru. Malgo classroom to my dear Kinta group of divine Kulu, Zihokole, blue color pinus, Zihokole, red color pinus, or Zihokole, and Kiba color pinus, apart from these two colors. It a blue pinakini maso, eta relation takibo, toy blue pinus, boy blue pinus, so same thing. So what happens that we are belonging to the same group? Amar mazot at a high similarity thank you amar uta majot ki hobo eta eta communication eta interaction beshi thakibo etu moi just example this okay i'm citing one just simple example to explain these two things uh, so he to koma ami high intra cluster property ar ji hokole red finish eh tahato logot amar ji tu interaction hobo kom hobo why interaction in that case of color okay why because they are wearing red and uh, we are wearing blue Okay, so a dutar mazot. Mane mazodi ko, mazodi deko. A to a cluster, a to a cluster, or a dutar mazodi to interaction. He toko low hobo, or he toke koi low inter cluster property. At a high, the at a pitorot consider kora, he to high hobo, 
সেটুক হাই ইন্ট্রা ক্লাস্টার বলে কম আর দুটার মাজত যে হব দুটা ক্লাস্টারের মাজ হব সেটুক ল ইন্ট্রা ক্লাস্টার এই দুটা প্রপার্টি উই হ্যাভ টু সেটিসফাই দিস টু প্রপার্টিজ দেন অনলি উই ক্যান সে দ্যাট আওয়ার ক্লাস্টার এনালাইসিস ইজ গুড ওকে এটা বুঝি পালাম as an example when you do the practical then you will see that uh, this this type of clusters regular the dekhi sir ye jo aapko dikhai de raha hai spherical type ka ye hai aapka clusters aisa nahi hai ki ye jo shape hai ye aapka hamesha spherical hi rahega wo data point kaise distribute kar raha hai ke rakha hai aapne uske upar depend karke iska shape change bhi ho sakta hai like is is type ka bhi aa sakta hai theek hai baat ye hai ki aap jo bhi form karoge wo क्लस्टर होगा उसके अंदर प्रॉपर्टी सेम होगा बट इफ यू लुक एट दिस डायग्राम अगर ये डायग्राम को ध्यान से देखोगे तो आपको कुछ ऐसा पॉइंट्स मिल रहा है मिल जाएगा जैसे कि ये जो पॉइंट्स मिल रहा है ये जो पॉइंट्स आपको मिल रहा है ये पॉइंट्स किसी भी एक क्लस्टर में कोई भी क्लस्टर में बिलोंग नहीं कर रहे हैं क्यों कैन एनी बडी टेल मी question clear is a point will like dekhi sa a duta class cluster to compala a to cluster 1 this is cluster 1 and this is cluster 2 now these points are not belonging to any of this cluster 1 or 2 why uh, i think the network is not supporting your voice of course okay no problem the reason is that these points are different these points are different in the sense that they possess some properties we are, which we are not considering they are showing us or they are giving us something that that is not required with respect to our analysis perspective okay ke point bila khompurno belak hobo jo point hai inka jo property hai this ye property hame nahi chahiye abhi so mo ki ko par bahut i can say this points are something which we we have to remove from our data set kaam no thoka bostu bila ko pelai diya to bhal otorai diya to bhal you know that okay jo kaam ki nahi hai usko hame kya karna se remove kar dena hai to aisa hi sirf aisa aapko karna hi padega when you go for the analysis part aur ye jo points hai this points will be known as outliers ki boli kolum hoy these are known as outliers and that is a very important application of cluster analysis that with cluster analysis we go for removing the outliers outliers ki nik ami remove kor outliers ko hatate hain ye outliers ko aap noise man ke bhi chal sakte ho ya to aap aisa kuch points man ke chal rahe ho ki jis जिसका कोई जरूरत नहीं है किस रेस्पेक्टिव में जो आप अभी कर रहे हो उसके आपको इसको कोई जरूरत नहीं है ठीक है यू कैन रिमूव दैम और एज ए डेटा साइंटिस्ट और डेटा एनालिस्ट फर्स्ट टास्क इज टू डील विद दोस थिंग्स डील विद और रिमूव दोस थिंग्स व्हिच आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर योर डेटा एनालिसिस पर्पस सो आई थिंक दैट्स सफिशिएंट फॉर टुडे आई एम स्टॉपिंग राइट हियर थैंक यू i hope whatever the discussion being done today everything is clear to you yes yes sir okay good